What's become very clear from what David was saying about Leeds is that the institutional context in which the, these awards develop is absolutely crucial. They are all, I think, going to be very, very different. So in the, the Nottingham context, um, I think our award, so we went down the award route, and again, following on from something Christine said earlier, I've got something whirring around in my mind about whether or not clothing an award in academic language of credits and regulations and, and QA actually is a good thing. Maybe, again, we're trying to force it into a box, but certainly at Nottingham, that's what we've done. We've got a very robust structure for our Nottingham Advantage Award. It's worth 30 academic credits and students can uh, do a package of modules. They're virtually all 10 credit modules, just a couple of 20 credit modules. Obviously, there's a whole series of learning outcomes. The award has always been quality assured within the School of Education, which is in a sense where I came in in the early days, but its administration and management sits within careers and employability services. And I'm sure Lucy would probably agree with me. There's always a slight tension there. Where does it sit? We call it a co-curricular ward. It's got academic leadership from the School of Education, but it's also very clearly something that's, that's uh, hugely important to careers and employability services. It's very staff-led in Nottingham. You know, we've designed it, we developed it, we deliver it, but I must say the student voice is growing now. A piece of work Lucy and I are doing at the moment is working with Enactus, which some of you may know about, which is a, a, a huge kind of student entrepreneurial organisation, and we're working with the Enactus president at Nottingham to develop a suite of modules that could run through the award purely for students on Enactus initiatives. So the student voice is growing, students are members of our steering group, um, students tell us what modules they want, there is some student input, but overwhelmingly it is a staff-led initiative. And it's quite normal, it's quite mainstreamed in the way that we organise it. Having said that, I do think there's a huge amount of innovation that comes out of the Nottingham Advantage Award. And for me, that's because it is on the fringes of the mainstream curriculum. It is a co-curricular award. And so I've always seen it as a place where we could try out stuff, that it was a lower risk space where we could try out new uh, innovations. Peer mentoring, for example, peer mentoring will have come up several times today. We've got about 15 peer mentoring modules. There's a big project underway at the moment to spread peer mentoring across the whole institution. And remember, Nottingham, we're in Malaysia and China also, so we're very much thinking about cross-campus peer mentoring. And a lot of that work started out within the Nottingham Advantage Award. And we developed OERs, that's already come up this morning, open educational resources around peer mentoring, again, which are out there for anyone to use, but also support our um, core modules around mentoring. A um, particular initiative I've been uh, involved in over the last uh, two years now is the NUC. Again, we talked about MOOCs this morning, the Nottingham Open Online Course, where we've managed to recruit 1,500 students across our three campuses in Nottingham, China and Malaysia to work together on an online course all about sustainability. And that's been hugely significant for us in terms of getting students to, to engage with each other, with their peers in these different places. But also politically, it's been a bit of a masterstroke. It's been picked up by the university's executive board. And so the Nottingham Advantage Award has had quite a lot of kind of internal brownie points over the last year in terms of some of the things it's seen to be doing. It's always nice when it, you get the internal recognition. And very often, you have to get the external external recognition first before the institution really takes seriously what you're doing. Um, we're also looking at how we work with our students as researchers. So um, just one brief example that comes to mind, we've got students on modules that go in and do voluntary work with local schools, but that voluntary work also takes the form of small pieces of research, looking at what is the impact of classroom layouts upon pupil behaviour, what are the black spots on a school campus where students don't feel safe. So there's a whole series of very small pieces of research that students on the award often do. We're very keen on assessment, reflective practice, um, in innovation and variety there. We've got employer-sponsored prizes. So a lot of things that we're familiar to the other award, uh, the award teams in the room. 
Um, but perhaps what's the, the kind of way forward for us at the moment, though, is thinking about scalability and thinking about sustainability, which is another part of my brief, we've, we're, we're increasingly moving towards what I call multiple outcomes modules, or models, rather. So just take one example. We've got this big online course about sustainability. It's now run twice for, as part of the Nottingham Advantage Award. Um, it moves inside the formal academic curriculum from October. It's just been approved as a first year elective module. That's a direction of travel that's already been mentioned as well today. We're talking to our uh, graduate school about a, a version of the Nottingham Advantage Award module that would be more bespoke for master's level students. And we've also run this sustainability course as a MOOC. Now, it's, it's run once already. The second run starts in June. So it's, it's a body of learning uh, built around a series of open educational resources. So the, the, the content is there, but the learning is being repurposed. So lots of really interesting conversations going on at Nottingham about the pedagogies and how the pedagogies may vary as well between the needs of award students doing it for optional credit at undergraduate or postgraduate level, um, MOOC people who are all over the world, very highly educated already, doing it for their uh, pure pleasure or professional development, and undergraduates doing it more formally within a more rigid curriculum where obviously the forms of assessment may be more subject to scrutiny. And we now have an external examiner for that undergraduate elective. So multiple outcomes models for us is a, a way forward that helps us to deal with the issue of scalability. When the Advantage Award at Nottingham started back in 2008, I think it started with seven modules on the UK campus. By the end of this year, Lucy, we're heading towards 200. Certainly we're between 150 and 180 now, aren't we? And that's across the three campuses, still the bulk in Nottingham though. Um, we are worried about reach. This goes back to the Leeds model, which is very attractive because obviously the Leeds model is reaching many more Leeds students than is the Nottingham model. However, having said that, when we do research, the students on the Nottingham Advantage Awards say, no, no, please don't, 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 we don't want uptake to rise to 40 or 50% because we want to stand out. We want the advantage. I'm personally very uncomfortable with that, but that is what the students are telling us. So that's a slight tension that we have as those of us who work on the award try to kind of drive it forward. And what is its relationship to the academic curriculum? Now, I'm an academic. I think there are really important bits of learning within the Advantage Award that should be in the core curriculum and therefore should be accessible to everyone and not just to that, you know, that wonderful subgroup of already obviously highly selected students at Nottingham who um, are making that extra leap forward, many of whom, of course, will be international students, to take that additional program. Thank you, Norman. So is it about advantage or is it about achievement for a broader group? And actually, is there a Nottingham Advantage Award curriculum? OK, I think there is, but other colleagues would feel that the kind of potpourri of experiences is actually more important. Thank you very much. I'll stop.